Sunday, so happy Sunday. It's Father's Day today, actually. So um, I'm gonna go see my dad later. We are about to go out and do some errands. I feel like I say that every, every time I turn on the camera. This is the card that um, I picked up for my dad. So I got it from Zares. It says, thanks to you, dad. I know a little something about tools. <laughs> Inside it says, like the Christy Crossy screwdriver is used on the Christy Crossy screws. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I just thought it was really funny because um, all my life my dad's been teaching me about tools and even how to change the oil in my car and how to jump start my car and things like that, you know. Helpful life tips, but at the bottom I put P.S. I know Robinson is the best because uh, he always taught me that Robinson was um, the best kind of screwdriver and or screw to use for anything. My computer has been acting very odd lately, so I am in the process of, well, I've already erased my hard drive and now I'm just in the process of actually reinstalling OS X Yosemite. My dad would always make me a tuna casserole um, when I lived at home and it was like my favorite dish. I don't know why, I normally don't like tuna, but the tuna casserole I really, really love. So my dad actually, um, gave me the recipe for it recently. It's a really, really easy dish to make, so I'm sure I could have figured it out on my own. But um, yeah, I think it turned out really great. And I don't have like one of those um, ceramic pots that you can bake in, so just using the cast iron pan. And I just, initially I covered it with tin foil, and, and then when it was nearing completion, I just uncovered it so that it would get a bit crispy um, around the edges and the top. But I think it turned out really well. I am on my way to work right now. I usually leave about 7.30, so I'm right on time. And uh, yeah, it's Monday morning. I have a pretty busy day today because I am actually out of the office tomorrow. I have to go to a WSPS um, AGM, which is in Mississauga at the um, Center for Health, um, health safety innovation. Yeah, so I have to prepare for the AGM. Just wanted to go over some other um, regulatory framework changes, um, especially with WSIB. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, do not worry about it. Um, <laughs> just kind of blabbing on about some work stuff. But uh, yeah, so I have to do that. Anyway, so I have to go over, over some stuff because I want to be ready for the AGM tomorrow and I do have some questions and I just want to prep them. Okay, this is kind of an odd angle, but I just wanted to quickly show you guys what I picked up at Sephora before I came home today. So I found out recently that um, Olivia Palermo was teaming up with Ciate to bring out some nail polishes. So I have loved Olivia Palermo since her days on the city, which was the Hills spinoff. So naturally when I found out she was teaming up with Ciate to bring out some nail polishes, I had to go check them out. So I, she came out with three. There was a red, um, kind of like a pale pink, reminds me a little bit of Essie Fiji, and then also like a really fun coral. So I went with the red because I, I love red nail polish. This is the fancy box that it comes in. So this is in the color Hutch, which um, she describes it as uh, her go-to red. And uh, I haven't opened this up yet, but um, I will, and I will show you guys what it looks like. The other thing I picked up while I was there is the Formula X base coat. So a few months ago, maybe like last year, last spring, I picked up the set. So I picked up the cleanser, the base coat, and the top coat. And um, out of the entire system, the base coat is by far my favorite. And then the last thing I picked up was just the VIB Rouge birthday gift. So um, it is actually my birthday tomorrow, so I was at Sephora today, so I figured I would just pick up my gift. And uh, so I'm sure you guys have all seen this before, but I was really excited when they announced this um, birthday gift earlier this year because um, I just love NARS products and these lip pencils are amazing. So it comes with these two um, lip pencils. So one is the Velvet Matte Pencil and the other one is the Satin Lip Pencil. So this one is Cruella, which is a really great red, and I don't know how to pronounce this one, but it's just kind of like a soft, dusty rose color. And then again, they, they have um, the larger than life long wear eyeliner if you're a VIB Rouge. So this is a closer look at the nail polish. So it comes in a pretty sturdy box, and then when you open it up, this is what it looks like. 
So I love, love, love this red when I saw it in store and uh, I just, I'm like obsessed with it. So I may have to pick up a backup because I just, I really, really like it. Good morning. So it is a Thursday. It's actually my birthday today and um, I am heading to work because unfortunately I do not have the day off today because <laughs> uh, I think I mentioned it in a, a previous vlog or a previous clip. But um, this week my boss is on holidays and uh, one of us always has to be in the office. So um, we can't ever, you know, be off on, on the same at the same time, essentially. I just stopped by Starbucks and got myself a drink. I had a birthday drink that I had to um, use up, a birthday reward. So I just picked up um, an iced uh, venti, iced, or an iced venti, non-fat caramel macchiato. So it looks like this. Um, I just, I really like it. It tastes really good. And uh, yeah, so I'm just heading to work now. Okay, I'm home from work now and uh, the Bo and I are heading to dinner. We're just going to try this restaurant. We heard really good reviews, or the Bo heard really good reviews, or read really good reviews about it, so we're gonna check it out. Back from dinner now and uh, the food was pretty good. Uh, we had um, like a shrimp, garlic shrimp um, thing to start as an appetizer and then the Bo had red snapper and I had, what did I have? It was a spaghetti mara, which is uh, basically spaghetti in a tomato sauce along with uh, a bunch of shellfish like shrimp and uh, mussels and calamari and it was really good. I liked it a lot. I'm going to uh, do my nighttime skincare routine and um, get ready for bed. I want to watch an episode of Sleepy Hollow first because I am have become addicted to that show <laughs> so I am just getting through the first season but uh, I want to watch one episode before I go to sleep. Happy Friday! This is what I'm wearing today. This top is from Zara. It is just a light knit uh, sweater. By the way, just got home from work and uh, just realizing that my hair has definitely seen uh, better times. <laughs> my pants are just khakis from The Gap and then I'm just wearing these um, cute little Oxford flats. And uh, yeah, just had dinner at the Bose parents' house earlier. So feeling very stuffed but I'm going to actually make myself a dessert and I'll show you guys um, how I make it because it's a Filipino dessert if you're Filipino I'm sure you've heard of it it's halo halo if you're not it's so good but uh, I'm gonna quickly make it and show you guys how I make it Cases because they're 30% off right now and also some doors to put on the existing ones I have in my makeup atelier. I just copied that off of Lisa Eldridge. I mean my office slash beauty room. Mail time! So I have totally been watching too many vlogs by Casey Neistat and uh, I freaking love that guy. He is like hilarious and unabashedly candid. I want to show you guys some things that I got in the mail because if you watched my last vlog, you'll know that I've been waiting. Did I mention it? I think I mentioned it, but I placed an order on Zara when their sales started. Um, and uh, it, I, to me it felt like forever before I actually got it so I want to show you guys what I picked up just kind of some boring things but hey you never know maybe you're interested wrong way ooh fun paper um, I picked up some shoes so this was just like the most boring pair of shoes I could have bought from Zara but I just wanted a new pair of just wear anytime kind of black heels so I picked up these guys. So I thought they were a good deal. I mean, they are leather according to Zara's website. And these were originally $99 and uh, then they were marked down for $49.99. And um, originally I was like kind of debating them because I mean, they're kind of like boring, right? 
But um, I figured I would pick them up because I knew that this style would sell out really quickly and turns out it did. By the next day, like there was only like size 10s left or something. So pretty happy that I picked this up. I am always the same size in all of the Zara shoes. Online, it's I'm a size six and a half, and then in the store, it's a 37. Okay, um, I also got a couple of blazers because these were only like 39.99, which I thought was a friggin' steal, and they were in my size. So how could I not pick them up? So the first one is this. It's just a kind of like a dark navy blue color. And uh, yeah, just a simple blazer. Um, I really, one of the things I love about Zara blazers is their attention to detail for most items. For instance, the buttons on the um, sleeve here, they actually do unbutton. So they're not those like fake buttons that are just like sewn on there. These are actually functional buttons. So yeah, I just really, really like this style. And then I also got the same blazer in a white color. I already have a white blazer from Zara. So I don't know if I'll keep this. I'll, I'll just kind of like try it on and see which one I prefer or if I'm going to keep them both. But again, this is only $39.99, so I don't know how you can say no to that. And then I picked up two pieces of knitwear, which one of them I am going to return. This um, The bow, he actually um, got this same exact top for me for my birthday as one of his gifts. So yeah, I don't need two. Um, I was actually debating whether or not to keep it or not because I just really, really love this style. And then the last one I picked up is this knit shirt or sweater. I also really like this because it's something you can wear for work or just, you know, for casual wear. And uh, it's like a double V. It's like a deep V on both sides, so the front and the back. So I just love this top. I just envisioned it with like either skinny jeans or tucked into a pencil skirt for work. Okay, the last thing I want to show you guys is from Sephora. Now this is also um, a gift from the Beau. It's one of his birthday gifts to me. Um, but there's this whole issue going on with Sephora right now where I guess they have officially like a warehouse in Canada. So um, a lot of the products will no longer be shipping from the States. So you don't have to worry about duties and all that stuff. However, because in Canada, we have such strict uh, labeling laws, like certain information has to be on a package or on packaging for different products. Um, also, you know, labels have to be in English and French. It's a law. We're a bilingual country. Um, a lot of the products that Sephora carries, especially on their website, they don't do that. So I guess um, from now, from go going forward, I don't know for how long or I don't know really all the details, but a lot of the products that were available before online at Sephora.com are no longer available to Canadians. So that's a huge bummer because a lot of like really great products and brands um, are no longer shipping to, you know, Canadian addresses. And for products that are not yet available in store, for example, Sunday Riley, like that's a huge bummer. What my order basically mainly consisted of was one of the things on my wish list. It was something that I really wanted to try because I heard so many amazing things about it. So it is the Luna Sleeping Night Oil by Sunday Riley, speaking of. So officially now it's, you can't ship this to Canada anymore. Um, luckily, the bow was able to order it before this whole thing came into effect, which, uh, I mean, thanks Sephora for giving people a warning about this, by the way. Anyway, I'm really, really excited about this oil. I heard so many really great things about it, and I really hope it's not just hype, because um, I'm just, I'm really, really excited to try it. But it looks like this. It's only one ounce, and it was like $130, so that's kind of crazy. But um, it's in really nice packaging though. Look how fancy the packaging was. I heard so many frigging good things about this. So hopefully it does not disappoint. And then the other thing I got was just this um, Peter Thomas Roth uh, birthday gift. So yes, I technically got two birthday gifts. Uh, I got the NARS set in store and then I got this online. Um, so pretty exciting. So this is just the anti-aging cleansing gel and then the cucumber gel mask. So yeah, that is uh, basically my haul. <laughs>